Hi everybody, welcome to Body Power TV. I'm Alex Ferentino. Today we're going to show you how to hit shoulders more intelligently. So we've got James Alexander Ellis coming in. Uh, the first lift we've got is an Olympic lifting movement. A lot of bodybuilders will just do bodybuilding movements and a lot of powerlifters will just do powerlifting movements. Um, and people view them as separate disciplines, which they are, but there are benefits to certain movements within each of them. Um, commonly when people shrug, they only utilise the upper traps when actually there's mid traps that pull the shoulder blades back and lower traps that pull them down. All three need to work together for uh, good posture. However, when, when you do conventional shrugs, just going up and down, that can cause poor posture with the uh, shoulder blades not being pinned into position. So a snatch pull will allow us to work all three sections of the traps in balance uh, and also develop some quite nice power. Here you can see James performing the snatch pull from a hang position. Now it's different to a power clean, a power clean would be with the hands at shoulder width, the snatch is uh, as you can see with the hands wider out. And the benefit of this is it allows you to work the traps from top to bottom. Conventional bodybuilding shrugs only work the upper traps when there are upper, mid and lower traps that all need to be hit in balance for good posture and also for some more size and power. The lift we're doing now is a, uh, called a Z press. It's made famous by Zajunas Savikas, World's Strongest Man competitor. However, he does it with a barbell. But we're going to do a modified version with dumbbells just to make it a bit more ergonomic uh, and allow us to hit the front head of the deltoids a bit better. So here you can see James not slowing down and taking tension off the delts at the bottom. He's keeping them engaged and then driving up and rotating slightly to fully contract the front head of the delts. The benefit of this is most bodybuilders will do seated dumbbell presses, but if you use a seat, your lower traps, your lower and mid traps, and all the supporting muscle of the back and rotator cuff aren't really working to hold the shoulders in the right place. Whereas with this lift, they have to, and you also get a hell of a core workout whilst you nail front delts. Next, we've got hang and swings. They're performed, as you can see, face down on an incline bench. The key to this is to keep your lats spread and only use the rear delts and don't allow the back to take over. And in order to stop the back from taking over throughout the set, reset the bottom of each rep. Get a full stretch, pause, take one or two seconds if you have to, and then reverse the movement, starting it with purely rear delts and not back. This lift is the seated face pull. We're doing it seated just so it's stricter and the body doesn't sway. And the benefit of this is it works the rotator cuff of the shoulder. A lot of people will be internally rotated from too much pressing, from typing at work, from being in the car, from being sat down at home. And one of the keys to better posture and better shoulder health is to get people in a state of external rotation where they're out like this, not in like that. So this lift will really help to do that and also it's a better way of hitting the side and rear delts than uh, lateral raises are because a lot of lateral raises can cause a condition called shoulder impingement, which we don't want.